Hey everybody, welcome to video 16.3. This is the last video in our quick little unit here, wrapping up circles. We're going to be talking about sector area. So as we're looking at the diagram at the top of the explore, and I'm on page 873, we want to be finding the area of a sector as basically like a pie wedge, okay, out of the circle. So just like it was a proportional piece of the circumference when we were finding arc length in the previous video, this is going to be a proportional piece of the area of the full circle instead. So we're going to get again derive the formula pretty much the same way. So first we're going to find the area of the circle here in part A. And so in this particular diagram we have that the radius is 15 millimeters, so it's going to be pi r squared or pi times 15 squared. And then again, in terms of pi is going to be our answer, and also rounded to the nearest tenth. So a reminder that in terms of pi means something with the pi symbol after it. Simplify everything around it, keep the pi symbol in the answer. So in this case, a becomes 225 pi for the total area. Then as we progress to part B there, we're taking the entire circle is not what we're finding the area of. We're just taking the part of the circle that has 120 degree central angle. And so 120 out of 360 is one third 120 out of 360 is actually a third of the entire circle's area. So if we take a third of the area we just found, which is 225 pi, then that is going to be 75 pi if we simplify. And then this actually should be an approximately equals in that last line. Use a calculator to evaluate. Again, remember that pi is found by doing the second key and then your caret key above your plus minus uh, multiply divide keys over on the right hand side. And so that is going to be 235.6194, go out to more decimal places than you need and then round. So again, exactly answers in terms of pi would be 75 pi or round to the nearest tenth to 35.6. Moving on to the next page, we see a statement here and explain one of the area formula for a sector. And it's very similar to what you saw for arc length. It's whatever the measure is out of 360, but then instead of times 2 pi r, we have times pi r squared. So for part A, as we're working through this example here, we want to know what is the area of the shaded sector POQ. So all of this. That's going to depend on what the total area of the circle is. So we take the measure out of 360 times pi r squared. So that's 210 out of 360 times the radius is 3, so pi times 3 squared or 7 twelfths of 9 pi, which is uh, 63 over 12 reduced is 21 over 4 pi. So this is our exact answer in terms of pi. And then use your pi key. And this time we're going to the nearest hundredth for these roundings here. So 16.49. And that will be in terms of area units, which will be inches squared. Moving on to part B, if we are finding the area of sector HGJ, then that's going to be the measure of the central angle, which is 131 degrees out of 360. And then the radius this time is 12 meters, so times pi times 12 squared there which is 144 is 12 pi. And then we're going to keep our fraction 131 over 360. And then on my calculator, I'm just going to do 131 times 144. 
and divide that by 360. And we get a decimal, but it's not a um, non-repeating decimal. Or, yeah, it's a, a non-repeating decimal. So this is 52.4 pi here. And then we're going to take that 52.4, which is a terminating decimal in front of pi. I know I said no decimals, but keep in mind here, we um, have a nice neat decimal in times pi. And now we're going to get rounding with the pi key, 164. And to the nearest hundredth would be... 0.62, and that is meters squared. So for the your turns on page 875, you're doing your turn number 4 and 5 in the same way we just did explain 1. Make sure you do those before you head into explain 2. But in explain 2, we're going to be applying the formula for the area of a sector. So again, there is that area formula that we've been using for the sector. Measure out of 360 times the total area of the circle. So as we look at this particular lighthouse picture here, oops, sorry, the lighthouse picture that we have at the top, you can see that the beam is almost like a central angle itself. And so if we're thinking about it rotating in a circle, the arc that it sweeps through is apparently 150 degrees. So we're going to put 150 out of the total 360 for the circle. And we want to know what is the area covered by the beam okay, as it sweeps through that arc. So 3 squared is 9. So we're looking for reducing 150 over 360. We're looking for 5 twelfths of 9 pi. Or if we do 5 times 9 divided by 12, we get 3.75 pi exactly, or an approximation of, and this is to the nearest square mile, so that's a whole unit, to 12 miles squared. For part B, let's fill in what we have there. For the circular plot with a 180 foot diameter, notice diameter is given, so we first want to find radius by taking half of that. To the nearest square foot this time we're asked what is the area that's watered as it rotates through an angle of 50 degrees. So 50 is the measure that we're interested in for M out of 360 and then times 90 squared. Well 9 squared is 81 so 90 squared is 8100 and then we'll leave 50 over 360 alone. This time we're going to take our calculators, multiply 50 times 8100 and divide by 360 because we want to get a single nice number in front of pi to simplify. And that is 1125 pi or an approximation and this is to the nearest square foot so 3000 534 feet squared. Last little bit of this video here on the next page, 